hobbiers. I know this is kind of strange because I, Minimus, is doing the intro, but it is just the same as any uh, as any other of my Daddy Maximus's videos. And we will be building a an in-air easy build scale model kit of the Saturn V and a little, a a little astronaut, a little astronaut. And we will be opening this today. Hello, hobbyers. As Minimus said, the model we're building happens to be pre-painted, but we're gonna add some detail work like some panel lining, we're gonna do a wash on the not to scale of the rocket spaceman because well that would put the spaceman being very big since he's supposed to ride in there <laughs> okay so now we're gonna open it minimus is gonna do most of the work on this one the all-important instruction manual yep. the base here's the base the very first time I've ever built one of these kits. But there's a first time for everything, right? Of course. We're going to even get to use some brushes and paints and all kinds of good stuff today. Yep. Screwdriver. It's so tiny. It's so, it's so tiny. It's so tiny. You can probably say it. It's so tiny. We can talk about the instructions. They look pretty simple. Yeah, it's a little spaceman. It's a little astronaut. There's a tiny screw. That is such a tiny screw. Not nearly as tiny as some of my quadcopters have in them, but at least they do give you a nice screw to hold on. We don't need to open it though. Not until we need it. Yeah. Because that's a little screw that can easily get lost. Okay, so I guess you need okay. to start. So, we attach this to this. Okay, I'm just going to fast forward through this part. Because, uh, well, it was a little fiddly at some spots. But we had to do a little trimming. Get some of the parts to twist on. And, well, nobody wants to watch us fiddle around, <laughs> trying to get pieces together that sometimes don't want to go. But, we are getting it put together. Like, all these details. Well, do you want to paint? Yeah. You gotta be yes, real yes, careful. Yes. Well, I'll give you a little bit of black paint. You want to paint on black? These little details right here? Different colors. Well, like it's red. a space suit. It's a space suit. I don't think there was a whole lot of... You might as well match the front part where they did that. Okay? Like red, it, like red and black. Red and black. Just red and black. Okay. Well, you're going to have to hold it like a pencil. Don't. You make a little bit of mess. I guess it's okay. Right. Here's a little water. Dot. Here's your water dish. Palette. Yeah. Okay. And here's the paint. Paint. You're not going to need much, so. Oh, gosh. It's splashed. Yeah, you're probably not even going to need that much. Okay. Wet first. Always wet the brush first. Okay. You don't want to get it all over the place and you don't want his backpack to be black. You may want to hold it a little further up on the brush. So there's more control. Mm-hmm. Now's where we're gonna get to the interesting part. Where? Huh? Where? 
I'm gonna brush on some wash. Yes. Can we get a brush on Alright, now hopefully this brings out all his little details. Okay, well try not to get it on the base though. Alright, here you go. You got it about clean, I think. Alright. Now, here you go. Bye. Just kind of paint that on the uh that is that wash. Yeah, wash. that's wash. Is this You're gonna have to pick up him. Yeah, you got to pick him up. Not by his place you just painted. Yeah. Right. Um, Hold it by the base, because the base is the only thing you're not painting. Alright. There you go. Now put this in the groove. Parts where I have that. Well, this is the gray. This is going to bring out all the little wrinkles and stuff in his suit. Touch it off the edge so you're not getting too much on there. Alright. There you go. Under the nobody can see you right there. Sit, sit right, and you might be able to get in there a little better. Now, do you see what it's doing? Yeah. Now, keep going. Like it's gonna spray. Legs. It's gonna yeah. Oh well, yeah. You're gonna get it everywhere because then we're gonna wipe off the excess. You're just trying to get it down in the groove. See paint into the grooves because you want the shadows to be darker. Don't get any on the base. Alright, get some more, get some more. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep painting. Here. Paint the back sides of his legs. Let me see. Let me see what I can do. A little do. seam line down there. Uh, well, we can't do nothing about that now, but let's see what this does. Let's see what we're going to do. Is this is just going to... So you don't have to be real pretty about it, because we're going to come back and wipe a lot of this stuff off. But we want it to be in his suit, because when we're done... Alright, now, you see that paper towel? We're going to do the bottom part of his legs. See the paper okay. towel, yes. I'm gonna do, we're going to do them a half at a time. We're going to do his bottom half now. Can you move it along? Yeah, we want it to be subtle when you barely see it. This is what we're going to do. Does it have a very tiny brush? Yes. But I want you to see something now. You can only go a little bit at a time. And I guess we'll start from the top down. Uh oh. Okay, see? Now, watch. See, this is what'll happen. Oh. Okay, see how it flowed? Yeah. Why does it take forever to dry though? Because it's oil based. And that gives us time to clean up. See where I got little blobs of black? Yeah. Well, we can clean all that up. See? Oh my gosh, you're messing it up. No, 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 no. Because wherever we don't want this stuff, we wipe up with a cotton bud. See? Now. Alright, and then we got this one. Alright, see how this got this X up here? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's cool. See? It's cool how it does that. That's the capillary a action. What? So okay. we'll touch it right up here. Ah, there's a blob of black. No, but that's why we you need... You said it was permanent. It is, but we're going to use... What? We're going to use uh, lighter fluid to clean it up, you see? Lighter fluid? It's, it's more, it's less corrosive than, say, thinner. All right, now I'm going to let you do the other side, okay? But then, at that point, all right, here we go. Now I'm trying, there we go, I wanted to get it in the groove. Okay, here. See that side? I haven't done that side. 
Well, you're going to need to dip it again. So, here we go. All right, now. Now, we want it in the grooves where you want it. Okay? Up here. See that side? See how it works? Get the top groove, too. Let's see. And this will kind of bring it to life. All right, now get a little bit more on there. All right, you go. Put the side, there you go. Right. Here you go. Now what you're going to need is this. Now it's cleanup time. Okay, I made such a mistake and now we are... Oh, it's not that bad. Yeah. It's not that bad. We can It's going to take off our own writing! Well, I hope it doesn't take off the writing. I was hoping it didn't get up there and I can't find my lighter fluid at the moment, so we're going to have to go with... Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Silly. Silly Daddy. Alright, here you go. Now, we're going to need a lot of cotton balls. Okay. Okay. Set that right in here. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to dab it in there. Then here, let me show you. Let me start with this before it gets to. Hold on, hold on. We'll see. We'll see, because you don't want you don't want it really soaking wet with. It just. No, I tried to, but. Oh my gosh, it is! I know, hold on. Uh, now part of it. No, 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 it didn't take anything off of it yet. It did! So you want to roll. See how I'm rolling my it? Look at my panel line, it's almost gone. Huh? My pin line works. Someone's gone. Hey, well, that's well. We're cleaning up right now because you don't want all that dark on it. So here we go. Well, now you know what to do, right? Yeah. So we just need a little bit here. See that big glob? Yeah. See now this will just. Just a lot of work because you made. That's why you gotta. It's better if you're neater with this stuff because then you don't have to do as much cleanup. You're gonna want to go perpendicular to the lines because if you do, see if you jab the boat butt in there, you're gonna suck out the panel line. So what you do is you hit it at an angle. See, see how the cotton buds like that, and you gotta roll it. See how I'm rolling the cotton bud? Change your cotton bud. See, that's another problem. You're putting your cotton bud's dirty. Grab another cotton bud. <laughs> you can't run out of cotton buds. So. I have boxes of them. We're gonna use those boxes all over. See, fun. you don't need to just just touch it in there. Now, see, your cotton bud's soaked. See, that's too much. Did you just buy some lighter fluid just so we can do this? Yes, I did. Well, not this, but I paint a line other stuff, too. Oh! This is what I do to the Gundams, too. It's good if your little hair is wet. Okay. You don't this? need much on there at all. No, you see how I'm doing it? Oh, it looks so crisp now. Yeah, that's what we're going for. I already did the top part. Let's see. 
so you don't need much, but see, right there. I think we need another pen. Okay, now we're gonna go down to here. See, and because you just want it in the middle. Because I was debating on whether or not to even do this one. So you got to be careful on the black surfaces because I think that's another paint. Even more lighter fluid. Well, I can only use a little bit at a time because it evaporates like really quickly. Here's the model and we are now finished and I was a bit frustrated on the pan lining but now we're finished. And this is what it looks like now. This is what it all looks like now. Yeah, we got a little frustrated. We got a key with panel lining is to be neat about it, but I think Minimus got a little carried away when I went downstairs for a minute. So, you can't this be lazy thing about it. Thing looks so now quick clean up here real quick this is what it looks like no that's the base nobody cares what the bottom of it looks like all right i'll zoom in okay so now here is the astronaut after he's been uh painted with the wash he's got a little bit of wash on him now so he's not as well, you can't see through your hands. And Minimus painted some of the dots on his back, his no. backpack, but it's not showing up real well. But see, now you can actually see some of the grooves in his suit, and he's not as plain as he was. So, there we go. We have now a Saturn V uh, rocket with its base. And we have a washed astronaut ready to go. And there we are. We'll find him a nice place to sit on a shelf somewhere and we'll be good to go. Guess what? The astronaut's supposed to fit in this area of the rocket. Three of them actually sit in the Apollo capsule. Three of them actually would sit in here. Three of them. So. Three of these little things. So if that astronaut was to scale with the rocket, he would probably probably be about 35 to 50 feet tall. That's a big astronaut. So, okay, well, thank you again, hobbyers, for watching. Yep. And like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you soon. Bye.